Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 19th of July 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from James chapter 5 verse 16 which reads, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. There have been many moments in our lives when we have had to utter an apology for something said or done that was inappropriate or insensitive. So how do we go about this delicate yet difficult task? A genuine apology can help and restore a strained or broken relationship. But as Dr. Gary Chapman tells us, it doesn't end there. Look at these few things. Saying I'm sorry isn't enough. It's a good and necessary start, but it's not a good finish. For example, we may even say, I'm sorry you took it that way. Well, that's not an apology. It's actually a covert attack. You need to specifically confess what you are remorseful about. For example, I'm sorry that what I said insulted you, acknowledges what you did and affirms the wounded party. Number two, Take full responsibility for your behavior. <laughs> I think this is the difficult, most difficult one of all. We just don't like taking responsibility. We like playing the blame game. But take full responsibility for your behavior. Without that, there is no healing or reconciliation. For example, I was wrong to speak to you like that is honest, humble, concrete, and responsible. It helps the injured person to see that your apology is genuine. Genuineness diminishes anger and encourages others to trust and accept your words. Number three, offer to make amends where possible. Ask, is there anything I can do to make things better? By putting yourself on the line to do everything you can makes your apology heartfelt and sincere. James puts it like this, Tell each other what you have done. Then pray for one another and be healed. Number four, ask for forgiveness. Don't just take it for granted. Will you please forgive me for what I did? You need to say it and the other person needs to hear it before healing and restoration can start. My dear friends, when you ask for forgiveness, and it's being granted. You have signed on the dotted line together. You are recording your mutual commitment to move beyond the hurt and work toward a better and stronger and healthier relationship. Wow. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.